Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So this video is going to be kind of quick. It's going to be showing you guys how to download any homebrew application that you want. So the first thing that you would want to do is get the Lotus Tech free pack. So it's basically a pack that has all the homebrew applications installed and everything, but it installs the homebrew app store. Now you can get the homebrew app store by going to GitHub link, but if you want everything that I have on my switch, you can get the um, Lotus Tech pack. But the fastest way is just to get the Lotus Tech pack instead of going GitHub. And I have a Lotus Tech pack linked in the description and I made a video on how to download it and get it. So this is basically it. So you want to go into your albums over here. And then once you're in here, you're going to see the homebrew app store right here. Now, what is the homebrew app store? The homebrew app store is basically an app store full of modded firmware. So as you can see, you can get some applications like Cold Leaf over here, where you can just add games and all that. You can get your GameCube games over here. As you can see, it's just basically a bunch of stuff over here for your homebrew menu. Um, it's a bunch of applications here. So it helps you get the stuff you need instead of going on GitHub to find a file and downloading it. You can go over here and just download it just from here as you can see you get all of these apps over here. you got your games here so you can even get some of the games from here these are just like games people made and they put on the homebrew store over here these are not official nintendo games but um these are just some games you can download and play you also have some emulators over here so as you can see a retro arc mgba scum vm all these like emulators over here and some of my videos that i made i used the homebrew app store to get some of these emulators like melon ds and retro arc and pspp and you can watch some of these videos i made on how to get this stuff where it'll help you out in modding your switch and everything so this is basically your emulator section over here you have your tool section these are things that you want like that are tools that could help improve your switch and that could just mod it even more like getting free games getting all these applications and everything uh how to update your switch once it's banned and everything how to go back to this payload once you're already here like your akatsu menu and all that so this is basically what the tools section is over here you have edison you have your cheats and all that and it's basically a nice area where you can get your stuff over here you have so much stuff with moonlight so you can stream your pc connect to it you just have a lot of stuff over here and tools when you go on advanced over here you get some more advanced things that you may not normally need over here so as you can see we have just stuff over here that i don't even use but it's over here if you want to get it and learn about it you have themes over here which shows you your themes you can get so these two are the things where it can get your themes installed so the homebrew app store is basically a front where you're going to get everything that you need so whenever there's a guide or a video instead of downloading the github link you might as well just look it up on the homebrew app store and you can just get it from here so this basically where all of your modded applications come from. It's basically like Cydia, like the app on the iPhone once you jailbreak it. But yeah, this is basically how to get any homebrew application over here on your Nintendo Switch once it's modded. I hope this video helps you and yeah, goodbye.